Ernest C. Withers Sr. received his passion for ancestral history from his father, and he passed it on to his children. My grandfather, because he always let us know about our ancestors. The grandfather of Billy Withers and PFC Sylvester Rogers Sr. both had roots in Holly Springs, Mississippi. Also where my father's father came from. Ernest Withers lived and photographed in Memphis, Tennessee, a crossroad for the Civil Rights Movement. Withers also documented the music scene on Bill Street, the Negro Baseball League, and Black Social Life in Memphis. Withers played a key role in the Civil Rights Movement as a result of his photographic document of the Emmett Till trial. He was witness to the Montgomery bus boycott, Megar Everett's funeral, the integration of Little Rock High School, the Memphis Sanitation Workers' Strike, and the Martin Luther King Jr. assassination and funeral. As the Withers children grew up, they saw black life and black history. They were witness to some of the most pivotal events in United States history. As they came of age, they too were required to work in their father's photography studio. They started out mopping and cleaning the floors. As time went on, they were allowed to photograph children's birthday parties. Later on, they were given their first real photography assignment. You can go and take pictures of the children's birthday, something like that. But our first assignment was pictures of, of casting layouts. You could always put a dang on it. So that way we had to develop our skills. <laughs> Ernest C. Withers Sr. was a world acclaimed photographer and civil rights historian. He photographed major moments of the civil rights movement. His collection includes over four decades of photographic history, including the ending of the Montgomery bus boycott, to which Billy Withers and his siblings were eyewitnesses. It was a stormy, rainy morning as they drove to Montgomery, Alabama, along with L. Alex Wilson, of the Memphis Tri-State Defender to capture the event. Ernest Withers told his children that in order to capture an event properly, you had to be on the scene early. They left at 6 a.m. on the way to Montgomery. Withers wanted his children to meet Martin Luther King and witness history. In order to achieve that goal, they had to be there early. Finally, they made it to the historic scene where the buses were first integrated. So finally, they made it to the scene where they first integrated the bus. That day, that morning, was one of the many, many events that Withers allowed his children to witness. Ernest C. Withers Sr. was passionate about his photography and felt that if black people did not tell their own story, no one else would. We don't tell our story. Nobody else be. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now. Withers was a Memphis icon and an African American treasure. He used his lens, his pen, and his voice to change Jet, Ebony, People's Magazine, the Tri State Defender, Pittsburgh Courier, New York Times, Memphis World, and many motion pictures nationwide.